Welcome back to another Village Wealth Management show. Today, we want to talk about to implement what you already know. So I know a lot of things, but I don't know if I should implement everything that I know. So what do you mean by implement what you already know? Yeah, that's one of my pet peeves. You know, I, um, we are living in a society where it's analysis or paralysis by analysis. Mm. You know what? You know, the thing of it is, is it's not that we don't know. It's that we don't do. You know, that we mean, overthink more so or we, uh, we have the knowledge, but we just don't implement it. Yeah. We become we become uh, knowledge zombies. Mm. And you know what? A knowledge is power, I will say. But implementing is real power. And, and doing is is where it really comes from, yeah. you know? So uh, instead of waiting for you to be, you know, to, to understand everything or waiting for um, all the knowledge, start implementing what you already know now. Yeah. You know, okay, so if I know I'm going to have to walk from here to Florida, we live in Michigan, okay? That's generally a southeasterly uh, uh, direction from here. And if I know that's where I need to be going, I don't need, I don't need to know. I mean, it'd be great to get on an airplane and fly there. It would be, but if I have to walk there, doesn't, I'm, I got to walk. So guess what I'm going to start doing? I'm going to start walking South Easterly. Well, maybe it's easier said than done. So if you're saying, okay, I want to go to Florida. I know the exact roads I need to take. I need to take 75 at 70 miles an hour. I know every single detail in my walking, car or I whatever. Oh, we're walking. We're walking. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're going to do it the hard way. It's going to take us a little time. <laughs> All right. So if I put my Nike tennis shoes on with my running shorts on, but and I'm going that way. What is some fears that would stop somebody in, in, in knowing it versus actually putting it into action? Well, I mean, obviously, I mean, there's, there's a, I know there's a lot of smart guys out there. We know a lot of them from coming in here and, and you know, being around us all the time. And they're way smarter than us, but we are not seeing results come from them. And we are like, these guys, what are they waiting for? So where is the fear factor? Is it a fear factor or is it just uh, I have too much knowledge and I'm overthinking it? What what's paralysis well, it's by analysis? So I think I mean, it's both. Oh, it's both of that. Well, how do you how do you uh, and it's tell laziness somebody? too? There's laziness there. Okay, so back to the Florida thing. You open up a can of worms there. Way to go. <laughs> uh, so if you're walking, okay, you can make a good case of saying, all right, well, you know, I'm not just going to get up and storm out the door in my flip flops yeah. with my shorts on whenever it might be cold and I might need boots and I might need tennis shoes and I might need nutrition and I might need, okay. I, you know, there is a certain limit of, of, okay, we need to have a plan. I get that. Almost right? too much overthinking though is yeah. what I'm, what I'm referring to okay. is, is the guys who just do nothing but plan. And, and that's, that's, and we're in a business where we plan. That's our jobs. We yeah. do financial planning. So yeah. that's our, that's what we do every day. However, if if a client can't start doing something with the plan, it doesn't. Uh, the plan is isn't worth the it's not worth the paper it's written on, you know. So yeah. uh, back to your point of very smart people who have very underperformance um, uh, in their lives is and that is I think there's a, I think there's a lot of there's fear there's the fear of failure the fear of the unknown there's a bunch of fears okay and we talked about fear before and yeah. fear is weakest when it first pops its ugly head. So you got to get it out of your life as quickly as possible. Okay. So that's fear. And then you have, um, uh, fear and then the fear of failure. Oh, I could keep going on in fears, but I'll, I'll stop on the fear. And then you have, I think a lot of it is there's a, there, I, I, I hate to say the word lazy, but I don't know other, other way to describe it. It's like, if you know, and, and you don't do, and you can't explain why you don't do. It's not that you're afraid of it. It's not that you didn't know. It's just that you're lazy and you didn't you didn't implement it. Yeah. And and I guess everyone could say, well, I'm lazy because I'm fearful because of this. Okay, okay. Uh, you know, maybe so. But that's just called for what it looks like. It's laziness. Yeah. I mean, well, I think if you have so much knowledge, I mean, that just builds the confidence. So I don't understand where the fear would come from. So I'm like, if if I'm training for a 5K, and I know I use this example over and over, but if I'm training for a 5K, I do the exact plan up to that point, and I know that I'm going to do it, but I don't run the race. Like my fear, there should be no fear because I know I've done my due diligence. I've done everything I need to do to get to that point, and I should be confident as heck to implement what what the process is. So what, what I'm saying, you know, you go to Florida, you plan every single route out. I understand the fear part, but I think I'm leaning more on, I think laziness is, I don't know if that's the correct word to say. Yeah. But oh, yeah, it is. I mean, that's, that's, we have, a, we are full of laziness. Yeah. You know, what's funny is we have more modern conveniences. We have more free time than we've ever had in our lives. 
And I, everyone's like, well, I don't know about that. I'm busier now. Yeah, you're busy. Do an inventory of how much productivity you're getting out of your busyness. Yeah. And you're going to find out that you're not very productive. And, yeah. and I'm just being real. And I, I don't care who you are. You can look at your busyness and say, you know what? I could be much more productive with this yeah. than what I'm currently doing. Yeah. And so, um, you know, you know, laziness is 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 more. I think we have more problems with laziness now than we've ever had. Yeah. Because what we're what we're just we, I, I don't know. I, there's so many things I I know. Every time I get on a, on one of these shows, I hit social media. But I, that's just. <laughs> uh, but basically, you know, I, I mean, there's people who want to go and look and be uh, stimulated by someone else's success. That's yeah. why you have guys on Instagram and guys on Facebook and guys on YouTube that they'll post these beautiful cars, this beautiful lifestyle when they're out shopping, doing something, you know, lavish, and it gets millions of views. And be because people are intrigued by that, they get a stimulation from watching somebody else do something they would in they'd be interested in doing themselves. Yeah. You know what the sad part is? Is that's all you're going to get is that small stimulation in your brain unless you start doing and tracking that way. You have to start doing something. Yeah. You know, if it, and, and and you know what? And 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 maybe maybe some people that's all they maybe that's their way of relieving stress and and that's all they'll ever be in life is just watching other people. Yeah. Well then, I'm glad you have YouTube then. I'm glad you have Facebook or whatever it is you're watching, but I'm not that person. I don't. I don't. I don't want to watch everyone else do while I sit and watch. Yes, I want to participate. Yes, yes. And if you want to start participating, start with what you already know. Yeah. And that is okay. I know I need to make more money. Okay. How do you do that? Well, you either work more hours, you get a different job, you work another job, uh, you go and get a, a education that starts tracking that. Break that bigger goal down into bite-sized pieces. You know that's where you want to be. Well, then don't start. If you want to go this direction, don't start walking that way. Yeah, <laughs> you know, immediately start making that progress towards that. Back to that that yeah. Florida walk. You know, Absolutely. it's just like it's the same concept there. Well, I think it's implement what you know. So back to that. You know, that's what we're talking about. Is I think a lot of people hold that as that's my crutch. This is what I'm worthy. I know all the knowledge. I hold all the knowledge up here. So if I don't implement what I know to everybody else or show somebody else how to do something, then you know, I'm, I'm wanted or I'm needed all the time. So if I'm not, you know, for example, in production, we both come from the production world. Like I know a lot of engineers that say, I don't want to tell anybody my secrets or whatever, because that's job security. You know, I'm wanted or whatever. That's how I get my paycheck bonuses and everything like that. But if you implement what you know, versus showing, take the time, set up the process, teach the team to do this process and then implement it. Yes. It takes a lot of time to build up to this, but if you implement to the whole team of what you know, in the long run, it helps you grow as an individual as well. But I think it's 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 the almost feeling like setback and a prolonged of the. And sometimes it's just our mentality in the world that we live in is I'll just do it myself. It'll be done right, you know, whatever. So when you implement what you know, it's just a, I, I think it's paralysis by analysis, but it's also almost a security blanket as well. No, I you not get, implement. I can simplify what you just did really right down to the basics, and okay. that is okay. So you have a weight problem. You're overweight. All right. And, and let me, let me just hit this while I'm on the subject is, is, you know, uh, I'm going to lose a bunch of people on this one. This is not politically correct to say, but this self-love idea, I think is a bunch of baloney. And, and yes, you should self-love. You should love yourself. I get that hundred percent, but don't lie to yourself and say, oh, I'm happy. I love myself when you're 40 pounds overweight and you hate that fact if, mm. deep down inside. That goes back to our honesty podcast. Yeah. If you can look in the mirror and, and you can really love yourself and not, and it doesn't mean anything to you, more power to you. That's wonderful. But I highly doubt it Yeah. because the reality is, is we all know what we should be. Okay. All right. So I'll lay that aside. All right. So back to the weight thing, implementing what you already know. Okay. So you're overweight. That's where I got off on that tangent Okay. and you deal with it. Okay. You recognize I'm overweight. I need to deal with it. Guess what? You know what you can do today right now? You can eat less and exercise more. Start moving now. Around. Yeah. You don't need to have a diet plan, but you know what people do? They're like, Oh, I'm overweight and I, I need to build a diet plan. Oh, I need to get a coach. Oh, I need to have a fitness trainer. Oh, I need to, and then, well, you know what? I, I have this party coming up or this wedding coming up. I'm not going to start to diet until after that. And then, <laughs> and then when that happens, well, it's getting close to the end of the year. I'll just wait till the end of the year so I can start my new year's resolutions. It's easier in January after Christmas is over and I eat all that junk food anyways. No, 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 no. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. You need to start with what you know now. 
and 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 quit believing the lie of one day I'm going to have everything I need and when I have everything I need I can implement it. That'll never happen. You're always going to need more. You're always going to know more. there's more to know. There's always more to know. If you want to lose weight now, eat less today and move more today. Start now. Start with what you know. You we all know that. We yeah. all been taught that in the health class. Yeah. And it goes back to your finances. You want to get out of you going to get out of debt, quit digging the hole today. Say no to the extra Starbucks or whatever it is you're blowing money on and start filling the hole in with a savings mm. or, or paying more on the principal. It's not that difficult, you know? But what it is 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 we excuse ourselves and excuse the and and allow our, and we we push it off uh for for the reason of we just we're too lazy to start. We, I mean, all those other reasons. And I, I don't know. I'm not even going to get into the subject of why. But what I'm trying yeah. to say is start with where you what you have right now. Mm. You have enough right now. Start using it. Go. It's not that hard. <laughs> so when you put it like that, it's pretty darn simple. But yeah, don't overthink it. That's, that's the point right there. I mean, I think the show's over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I heard a good quote. It says, I would rather make a bad decision on Monday than a perfect decision on Friday. Mm. And the reason being, and, and again, I'm not throw, I am not saying run off the deep end and just jump, okay? Uh, in our, our business, we definitely have to plan, all right? I, I'm not saying that. However, but here, run this scenario through, and that is Monday you make a bad decision. Tuesday at noon you find out, hey, that was a bad decision. We shouldn't be doing that. You can reverse course. So Tuesday afternoon, you start reversing course. Okay, it's Wednesday afternoon, you diverse, re reverse course. You already, you've, you've learned from that mistake. Mm -hmm. you, you, uh, and and what's the experience you get from that and, and having to reverse course is better than the perfect decision on Monday. Yeah. Or on Friday, rather. And because, because on Friday, you didn't get that experience of, oh, that's why that was a bad decision. Yeah. You just, you made the right decision, but you don't know. There's always that element of, well, I wonder if I could have done it the other way. Even though it was the right decision, yeah. Sometimes that's happening. And that's why I'm I'm all about saying what you have right now with what you know right now is enough. Go, start going, move forward, do something. Yeah, it's just that easy, man. Yeah, but it's difficult. It, and I I'll be the first to tell you I'm I'm very guilty of sitting there and an, over analyzing stuff. Yeah. So I'm not I'm not throwing anyone under the bus on this, but I am to to some degree. But and I, I'm throwing my, myself with you. Yeah. Well, and I agree with that. And I, and you know, I'm pretty confident in a lot of things that I do and, and, and I try to implement what I know, but at the same time, it's, we have the world of the internet at the fingertips right now. And I'm like, man, I know this, but I'm like, do I know every single aspect of it? So that's where I, I find myself almost overanalyzing and doing way too much research than I do. You know, sometimes it's just, and then you get carried away on your phone and then you're off wherever in la la land. And then I'm just like, okay, like you're saying, but just getting back to the basics and just, Moving forward, See, implementing 50 it. 50 years ago, we didn't have the luxury of knowing. So you just got to try. Knowledge you, you was, to. you know what's funny is 50 years ago, the, the, the term knowledge is power was very true. Oh, yeah. It was because, uh, you, you know, you just didn't have the access to knowledge. Yeah. We just didn't. We had to go to the library. We read books. It was slow. It was a process. Today, you know what? Knowledge is not power. No. It just isn't because the knowledge is everywhere. We're going to re-say action is power now. Absolutely. Yeah. It's back to the, it goes back to implementation is the power. Yeah. Yep. So it, there's no reason in today's society that anybody should be lacking of anything. It just, there just isn't. Yeah. I, I mean, because, because we all know, we all have the power of knowing. We all have that. So that's not the, that's not the issue. The issue is we're not implementing what we already know. Well, excellent. We'll end on that note. I, I love it. And uh, we'll be back next week with the episode with uh, Core Values and following up with those. Sounds good. All right. Thanks as always.